Hello friends, my name is Michelle Fondin and I'm the author of The Wheel of Healing with Ayurveda, an easy guide to a healthy lifestyle, and my upcoming book, Chakra Healing for Vibrant Energy, exploring your seven energy centers with mindfulness, yoga, and Ayurveda. In fact, this book will be available on Kindle tomorrow, March 1st, 2018. Make sure you get a copy of this book as it will help in your energy healing. Today we're going to talk about why you can feel crazy if you're a Vata type. What we're talking about here is Prana Vata. Now remember, there are three doshas, Vata, Pitta, and Kapha. However, within each of the doshas, there are five sub-doshas, which can get kind of confusing. But the sub-doshas really work on areas in the body and more precise symptomology and more precise functioning within the body. So the five sub-doshas for vada are prana, udana, samana, apana, and viana. We're not going to go into great detail with the other sub-doshas today. Today we're going to mainly focus on prana, Vada, it's that subdosha that can make you feel a little crazy. And if you're a Vata type, you know exactly what I mean. Pranavada is situated in the cranial cavity and it moves throughout the head. It also moves into the throat, the trachea, the lungs, the heart, and the diaphragm. And it's responsible for inhalation as you breathe in air. And it is also responsible for mind, thoughts, feelings, emotions, and perception. Now this is super important when you're talking about your psychological health or your mind and emotions. And this is super important because when we feel crazy, it is prana vada at work here. So in order to understand why you're feeling the craziness, you need to understand the mechanics of not only vada, but of prana vada, and it's really important that you grasp this in order to feel normal again. Now, again, this is not medical advice. I am not a medical doctor. If you're under the care of a physician for a psychological disorder, please don't change anything. If you change things gradually, or if you need to come off of medications, you need to do so in conjunction with your physician. Just know that. I'm giving you food for thought to help you understand why you might be feeling certain symptoms and certain disorders. So as you remember, Vata is comprised of the element of space and air. Now space and air are very open, vast, wide, and moving. So Vata is responsible for movement and change, and Pranavada in particular is movement of these things, such as thoughts, feelings, emotions, and perception. Now, if pranavada is still, then you have absolute clarity, awareness, and bliss. However, we just don't have a still mind, right? Even if you meditate for several hours a day, the mind is still moving. It's still in motion because you're alive. Hello. Just remember that. A lot of times we think like, why do I have a crazy mind? And why does my mind think all these thoughts? The mind thinks thoughts because that's the nature of the mind. The nature of the mind is to think thoughts. So if you're feeling like your mind is going 100 miles a minute, it's because you're alive. Now with practices such as meditation, we can lower the number of thoughts. So we can calm the mind and allow the mind to be much more relaxed and have more organized and coherent thinking and have more clarity. So what happens is we have these two elements in Vata, space and air. Remember, wide, open, vast space, and then the moving quality of air through space, which governs movement. Now the problem with this in psychological disorders is that when you have an unbounded amount of space and air through your lifestyle choices, your genetics, through what you take, in 
in emotions and experiences and how you live your life, what kind of food you're ingesting, what kind of drinks you're drinking, what kind of drugs you're taking or not taking, and all of those things really contribute toward this craziness of the mind. Now remember, in Ayurveda, according to Ayurvedic philosophy, you don't need more of what you already have. So if you already have a lot of the space and air elements, you don't need more of those space and air elements. You already have a fair amount of the space and air if you are a Vata type. Now, what does this mean? It means that as a Vata type, generally speaking, you typically feel pretty ungrounded anyway. You kind of live in the ethers, you're a daydreamer, you're extremely creative, you like to talk a lot, communicate with others, make connections, move about in the world, not staying in one place for any specific amount of time. You like to change jobs, relationships, locations, whatever it is, you like change and movement because you're a Vata type. You might even have a lot of hand gestures when you're speaking, or you might pace the floor when you're talking on the phone. But that is what you have inside of you and about you, so you don't need more of it. Now, the bad news is we live in a society that's pretty driven, so it's not only driven by this fire element to drive us forward to achieve and reach goals, but we also live in an environment where it's not okay to rest. It's not okay to stay grounded because there's this constant search for doing more, being more, being on call all the time. So just having a barrage of text messages and emails and media and ads and just it's constantly coming in, which can make a Vada mind crazy because there's no sense of groundedness. And so you are increasing the space and air qualities by the lifestyle that we have in the Western world. And not only that, but we tend to be addicted to substances such as sugar, which gives us that natural high and low, caffeine, which gives us that air and spaciness feeling. We tend to be addicted to things like drugs and alcohol, which while they aren't specifically related to Vata, they kind of tie into most of the doshas, including Vata and Pitta primarily, but it leaves you with that increase of space and air so that when you are living in the ethers through alcohol and drug use, it increases those qualities of space and air, which can leave you feeling airy and spacey even more. And then as you're coming off of them, you have greater amounts of anxiety, greater amounts of stress, greater amounts of feeling not grounded to the earth and not feeling really present in day-to-day -day life, which could increase those symptoms of anxiety, nightmare, psychosis, things that have an effect on you as a Vata type and making you feel even more crazy than you already normally feel because you're a Vata type. And so do you understand that through the lifestyle choices that you make, it is exacerbating the prana Vata? So you have a little bit of a disadvantage when it comes to psychological disorders because you already have a fair amount of the space and air qualities and especially that pranavada, which again is governing the brain, the cranial cavity, the thoughts, mind, feelings, and perception. So it's interesting to explore this, but it's also interesting to know what you can do to rectify that, to make sure that you don't experience those things like anxiety and panic attacks and a certain type of depression that's really linked to vada type or even anger, which Anger is mostly pitta, but it can be vada because of your perception of things. If your perception is completely off on what is happening in your experiences, then that too can affect you deeply. And again, using substances as an example can really skew your perception so much that it really makes that prana vada subdosha out of balance. So what can you do? Meditation, I said it at the beginning of the video, start with daily meditation daily routine, really get yourself into a routine and stick to it. Eating Vata pacifying foods, which I really talk about in my book. Staying off of stimulants, anything that's a stimulant, such as caffeine, any stimulant drugs, 
or even alcohol. You know me, I am totally against alcohol, not as a moral thing, but more as a physical health thing and a mental health thing. <laughs> you know, I've seen it destroy many people's lives and you can't have the purity of mind that you would like to have as you reach toward enlightenment, as you reach toward this spiritual connection to pureness, wholeness, and love if your mind is polluted by substances. It just can't happen. It happens artificially sometimes, and we do talk about that in our videos on alcoholism and addiction. Artificially, you can make that enlightenment happen, but that artificial enlightenment through substances creates a karmic debt, and you don't want that karmic debt on you because then you have to repay that karmic debt somehow. And so in order to balance that Pranavada, you can take herbs such as Brahmi, which is go-to cola. And Brahmi is a great mind tonic to help clear out that Pranavada. Now again, you need to stay off substances for this. So if you're drinking a ton of caffeine and taking Brahmi, you're kind of like canceling out the effects. Um, ashwagandha is another great brain tonic. And you can take Brahmi and Ashwagandha together. And they work synergistically to help with that Pranavada subdosha. So you can definitely do that. And in fact, it's recommended if you are past the age of 50 to take Brahmi or go to cola daily as a mind tonic to help alleviate the effects of aging in the mind. So the forgetfulness that is often associated with Vata can get worse with age. So taking Brahmi, go to cola is really good as a mind tonic now, I'm not for taking herbs first, but I know aging has its problems sometimes. And it doesn't mean that even if you're the healthiest person on earth, that you won't have some effects of aging. And really by keeping these healthy practices, such as yoga, meditation, doing tai chi, qigong, healthy eating, eating pure and clean, keeping chemicals out of your body that are harmful to your health. And also just keeping yourself on a daily routine, a seasonal routine, staying grounded, doing grounding practices that are gonna keep you toward the earth. Like put down your phone for several hours a day, <laughs> turn off your phone at a specific time every evening and don't turn it back on or check your emails or texts until the next morning. Having the discipline to be able to harness in that space and air quality so that it doesn't get out of control so that your mind doesn't go crazy and you don't feel the effects of that prana vada dosha going way off the charts in the way of this unbounded energy that can't harness itself in. And really, my friend, that is mental illness at its best. So take care of your prana vada. Really focus on that. And again, if you are on psychotropic drugs, psychotropic is just a fancy old word to say mental health types of drugs. If you're on psychotropic drugs, before you take herbs like Brahmi or Ashwagandha, talk to your healthcare provider and tell him or her, these are the healthy practices that I'm starting to embody and do those practices daily. Whether it's yoga, meditation, healthy living, getting on a schedule, sleeping for eight hours a night, get on those healthy practices and then see if your physician can wean you down on certain of those medications, especially if you're talking about antidepressants or anti-anxiety medication, antipsychotics, and medications for schizophrenia, bipolar disorder. Most people will have to stay on those for the rest of their lives. They can't get off of them. But ask your physician if you can add certain herbs like Brahmi, Gotu Kola, or Ashwagandha. You can even bring in the herbs and say, you know, I'm looking at complementary health and I just wanted to know if it would be okay to add these herbs as well as taking my other medications, if there would be some kind of side effect in taking both at the same time. So make sure you're checking with your physician before taking those. So that's what I have to say today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel below. Share this video with friends, family, and your dog. Please support me on Patreon. I don't get paid for doing these videos. You can pledge a dollar a month, $10 a month, $20 a month, whatever you can afford to support the production of these videos. www.patreon.com forward slash Michelle S. Fondon. And I will see you in the next video.